My name is Paul Walker. I'm currently the president of ASHP. Um, I work at the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy, where I am clinical professor and assistant dean for experiential education and community engagement. I earned my Bachelor of Pharmacy degree from Wayne State University and my PharmD from Wayne State University as well. I completed a general residency at Children's Hospital of Michigan and then completed specialty residency in pediatric pharmacy pra uh, practice at the University of Tennessee, a College of Pharmacy, and the Barnard Children's Medical Center. I enjoyed sciences, um, especially chemistry and biology, and wanted a career in health science where I could apply those without touching patients in particular ways and handling bodily fluids. Um, pharmacy became very fascinating to me as I spoke with individuals who were in practice, particularly pharmacists who practice in health systems. Um, didn't have a lot of exposure to community pharmacists, but those in health systems really inspired me to pursue pharmacy as a career that would allow me to use my scientific brain um, and not touch patients or their bodily fluids. Um, currently, I'm still working from home uh, following the pandemic. Um, and so I spend a lot of time on the computer, um, either with virtual meetings or you know, writing and working on projects and that type of thing. When I'm in the office, I have a team of um, four other individuals that help me manage the experiential curriculum at our College of Pharmacy. Um, we uh, recruit uh, preceptors for our students. We do site development and preceptor development. We manage student schedules, and we do an awful lot of problem solving. When students come to us because they have some personal issues going on and need some accommodations, when they're having issues with their preceptors, or when preceptors come to us with issues um, with their students or how their rotations are going. And my team and I uh, meet with these individuals and problem solve and come up with ways to manage whatever the circumstances might be. I'm also responsible for ensuring that our experiential curriculum meets the requirements of the Accreditation Council of Pharmacy Education, uh, ACPE. And so we do a lot of um, work with colleagues across the country uh, to identify best practices. We brainstorm ideas with colleagues across the country and come up with either um, things to sort of beta test uh, or implement in our programs to advance experiential education uh, and the development of our students' practice skills to meet the accreditation requirements. I also do a little scholarship. Um, you know, we have to uh, publish, that's a requirement of being faculty, and so I do a, some scholarship around um, educational experiences in the practice setting. Um, we're doing some work around student empathy, um, so we do some scholarship as well. Well, I don't actually put hands-on uh, drugs or patients any longer. Uh, so again, most of my time is spent in the academic environment. Um, the several things that I like about it are the opportunity to be creative and to pursue uh, interests that I have in the scholarship realm, um, and also to implement new ideas and, and um uh, concepts, if you will, in experiential education. For example, we're working right now with entrustable professional activities and how we integrate those into the curriculum. And what I really enjoy about my current job and some of the past roles that I've had is the opportunity to implement a new idea, project, program, measure the success, and then make changes. I really like the quality improvement aspect of pharmacy practice. Pursue it, go after it. Pharmacy is a very versatile profession. You can do a lot with a pharmacy degree and you can find your niche. You can find what excites you, what lights the fire for you and have a long productive career, lots of opportunities. And what you start out doing at the point of graduation is not necessarily what you'll be doing 40 years later when you retire. There's such a wonderful opportunity for personal and professional growth and to engage in really exciting opportunities. So I would encourage you to pursue it.
And, you know, if I or ASHP can be of help to you, please let us know because we're here to support you.